Now to add a controller, again you simply right click at the controllers folder, add, and then you don't choose another class or a new item, you choose the first entry you can see here in the context menu, you want to add a controller. Click it, and then you can see you have lots of options here. You have MVC5 controllers and you have Web API 2 controllers. You could choose an empty controller. We could use a controller which already have actions which use Entity Framework. Or you can uh, simply add a Web API 2 controller with read and write actions. Now for this example, I suggest for you not to choose an empty one, but use a controller with the read and write actions because then you already see all the HTTP actions, all the HTTP methods we can use and we can just use these methods we have already to understand what Web API does in essence. So let's use Web API 2 controller with read and write actions. Add it and then you have to type in the name for this controller and it's well, I would say best practice to simply call the controller the same name you name the the um, the model, so that you won't get confused when you have a dozen of uh, different models, controllers, and so on. So add this controller, and there you have it. Let's make it a bit smaller so that you can see there are all the methods that are generated by Visual Studio already. Now what you see here is you have already a URI, a URL which can be called by any web application and when you enter this URL you will call this method. For example, API contact will call this get method. API contact with a number will call this method with an ID first. And then there's also post, put and delete but we will cover them later. Now we will use these both methods to make get HTTP requests. Okay, but before we can uh, use these methods, let's create an array of contacts just for this example. So we have uh, not a contact controller, we have an array of contacts. And of course we need the reference to the models. Make it bigger. Contacts. And this is a new array of contacts and we will already define them here. Let's remove this S, okay. Okay, <clears throat> now <clears throat> we have one contact, let's just add three different contacts. And the ID for this one is, let's say, zero. First name, Peter. Last name would be Parker. All right. Copy this and add two more. Let's say this one, ID one and two. And then we can have another contact which is called Bruce Wayne. And another one which is called Bruce Banner. Okay. Now we have our array. Great. Now the next thing we need to do is already implement the uh, first get method, let's say. Okay, we see already that we have the correct return type because what we want to have is we want to get a list of all the contacts the server can give us. The only thing we need to change here is, of course, we won't use strings, we want to have the contact method name is okay and uh, the last thing we need to return is simply the contacts array that's our first method 
Now what we have to do is we have to add an HTML page and add jQuery to make all this stuff work. Thank you for watching this video and spending your precious time with this tutorial. I always try to get better at these tutorials, so if you have any comments, please leave them below. If you have learned something new, I would really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you in the next tutorial.